Hi everyone, uh, my name is James and I'm a third year PhD student at ASP in uh, So the title of my project is Back to School, to learn about heating energy management. Um, but back to school, I don't mean I've had a complete regression academically, but um, <laughs> sometimes I kind of feel like it. But I'm looking at schools from an energy perspective. Uh, so two main sort of questions I had to begin with in the start of this PhD is, uh, are schools poor in energy performance? And the second one, if so, then why is that? So in response to the first question, yes, they are the terrible energy performance. Uh, what I've tried to show here is that in the non-domestic stock in the UK, they only make up about 1.4% of the total stock, but are second overall with uh, um, CO2 emissions within that sector, um, emitting up to 14% of the total non-domestic stock. So in response to the second question as to why is that, uh, no one really seems to know. Um, there are some ideas to do you know, construction age, uh, lack of energy management, and so on. And that's something I'm trying to find out. So I tried to look and find out whether or not there was a link between age of construction, construction type, and so on. And I found very little link between the two, which kind of pointed me in the direction of thinking there must be some sort of human influence. So I decided to break the study into two sections. Uh, one was looking at physical factors, and one looking at human factors. The physical factors included looking at uh, temperature profiles and bearing in mind the sort of system, the heating systems, the control systems, and the constructions. So I took three case study schools which are based in Croydon. Um, I ended up there just to do with correspondence and getting access. And um, I monitored the temperature in these rooms at uh, a 10 minute interval over the period between February and May. And what I decided to do was try and find out. Okay, what I found is whether, sorry, what I found out was that on average primary schools use about 60% of their energy on space heating. And I know the guidelines say that classrooms should be set between 19 and 21 degrees Celsius. So I thought, okay, are they spending 60% of their heat energy whilst falling within that range, or is a lot of that uh, heating energy used because they're heating the classroom more than they need to? So I went to look and see, um, find out how much of this, the time, classroom spent above uh, 21 and 19 degrees Celsius. So I found on average in these case study schools, they range between 50 and 88% uh, of the occupied time above 21 degrees Celsius. So in this graph here, I've shown an example of a typical day or three days in one of the classrooms in one of the schools. As you can see, 19 and 21 degrees Celsius, uh, there's a large portion of the day spent above uh, the guidelines. And secondly, I decided to then go in and interview members of the school, so staff, teachers, head teacher, caretaker, um, admin, and students. The students I did in those groups, and um, adults I did in one to one um, interviews to try and find out what it might be that's causing this breakdown. So I wanted to find out if they had energy management in the schools, if there was an energy culture, what sort of barriers were there. And what I found was some quotes like this, where other staff were blaming other staff members for the school being bad at energy, such as teachers being with culprits. Um, a lot of it came down to lack of time to actually invest in the energy. Um, some of them said they had no control over the building. Some actually said they have energy, energy cultures and they're energy aware, but it focuses on things such as lighting and water, so stuff that they can see and get an immediate response from. So where I'm at at the moment is I found out that, okay, these case study schools are spending a large portion of their time, about 21 degrees Celsius, and um, there are some limits on human-wise, on the human factors. So I want to go back into these schools and <coughs> really find out whether it's down to the human uh, impact, whether it's down to the systems or the controls. And if so, I want to come up with an intervention which I can hopefully imply and see some changes over the upcoming winter. And that's it. Thanks.